Greetings all, the Devious Monkey here. Okay, a lot of excitement happening today. First and foremost, the biggest news is that I ordered the new camera setup. So, I ordered the A7R4 with the grip, with the Sigma 85 1.4, the Sigma 100 to 400, and I had to order the little, uh, what do they call it, the little collar for the tripod because it didn't come with it. But I know the way I use my 70 to 200s and having that collar on the, on the lens just really helped to stabilize things. Even though the lens has uh, optical stabilization, every little bit helps. That's the biggest news. And I was able to call Adorama this morning. I had to talk the guy through it because he was trying to charge me full price for stuff that should have been package price, but it all worked out in the end. I got everything. I became a VIP 360 member, whatever they call that. So that got me free shipping, well, free two day shipping. And I just got notification that it shipped. So with any good fortune, I should have all that stuff on Thursday or more than likely Friday will be the big unboxing video that I'll do. And because there's gonna be so much crap, it's not gonna fit on this table. So I'll, I'll make the thumbnail one big happy picture of everything. And then I'll go through each piece individually uh, I also ordered uh, two Freewell magnetic UV filters for the front lens. I don't want to hear it if you don't use UV filters on your lenses. I put a filter on every one of my lenses because I am dangerous with those damn things. And the UV filter has saved me thousands of dollars countless times over the past 20 years. UV filters go on. But I got those really thin low profile Freewells. I'm going to try those out. I'll let you know what I think of them. Got those, and I also got a bigger eye cup because I got a big nose, so I always smudge it against the screen of every camera, and having the bigger eye cup lets me put my face a little bit further back so I don't grease up the screen. So that's what I got. That's all coming. Everything's supposed to be here on Thursday. Let's hope. The next thing, I got the little silicone things for the Aperture MC lights from China. Both of the, you know, well, both of these. They were in the same package. These showed up today, a lot earlier than I expected. I wasn't expecting them until April. Let's hope that my watch gizmo comes way before the middle of April or May or June. We can only hope. I'm knocking on my monkey wooden melon a lot. So that's big exciting news because now I have the diffusion for those things and I'm good to go. All right, there's a ton of shit that I want, you know that. And now that I'm getting a whole new camera system, there'll, there'll be other pieces that come along the lines, mostly lenses. Again, I got the 85 1.4. That was the absolute, I had to have that one. And I did want to get the 100 400. Now, I'm looking at lenses in the future of what I want to get. I wish I could have gotten them all at the same time because then I could have thrown them all in and gotten package deals and had a lot of money taken off, but there's only so much I can do. And I have, changed because I was going to get the 85 and the 24 to 70, but I ended up getting the 100 to 400 instead. I think that the next two lenses that I'll get, and there's three that I put on the wish list and over time I will get them, uh, is the 14 24 2.8, and this is all Sigma stuff, the 24 to 70 2.8, and the 35 1.4. Now I had looked into the 35 1.2, I don't think so. I don't think I really need to go 1.2 and I get a better feel from the 35 1.4. That is way down the line though. I won't be getting any of that shit anytime soon. There's other things that need to be gotten first. That being, I have no photography flash strobe type gear other than soft boxes and everything. So I have I decided a long time ago that if I were gonna get back into photography, that I was gonna get the Godox 8200 Pro and there's a kit on that I found on Amazon and I have to get the wireless firing mechanism for the camera. So that's the next thing. And I have a few debts that are owed to me. If I get the money for that, then that's gonna be the next purchase. And, and all this, lenses, this, that's, and the other things, the next purchase will be that flash because it can be taken out portably and I already have the softbox for it and the Bowens mount that I can stick on that particular softbox that will allow me to use it with a flash. So 
Again, I do have a flash, I have a Godox flash, but it's for a Panasonic system. So while I can get it to fire, I cannot change any of the settings. So it shoots at 100% every single time, which isn't doing me much good. Okay, the other thing, and I think that I have stayed far enough away from this table, is that once again, I apologize. Yesterday's video, I smacked this damn table so many times throughout the video that I wanted to scream. I wish I could have redone it, but I didn't have time for that. So, I, I mean, I'm, I'm almost thinking that I, I seriously need to sit on my hands the whole time I'm doing these videos because, Jesus, I'm annoying. So, sorry. I mean, it was annoying the crap out of me. I can only imagine what it's doing to you guys. All right, this was the, this was the big step. So, I, I'll put this out here in case you're watching. Nancy, thank you. You know what I mean. Nobody else needs to know what I mean, but thank you. You are going to propel me forward and up to the next level. All that means is that there's going to be a shit ton of videos coming up that are going to be very photography centric, which was something that I had always planned on doing, but I just haven't done much of again because I've been focusing on the video side of things. I think I got the video pretty much down now. I have a heck of a studio built here in my corner. I've got all the lighting that I could possibly need with, for, for video, for video. And I have this overhead set up. I have a run and gun. Well, there, I've got it right there. I've got a run and gun set up for video. I've got my cinema rig set up, which mainly stays in my studio for now, unless I'm gonna go out and do other shit. I'm all set with video once I get this gear, for the most part, until I add lenses to that, that kit. I'm gonna be set for photography. Now, no excuses. I have absolutely no excuses not to get my ass out there and, and do my thing. I'm really excited to get back into actual photography rather than just videography because I have neglected it for the past couple of years. I have taken my camera out, I have taken pictures and all that kind of stuff. Have you seen any of them? Very few. Probably can count them all on, on my two hands because I haven't really posted them anywhere. So I am going to now start doing a lot of photography. Unfortunately, we're still in, you know, a kind of a pandemic shutdown. I'm not gonna be doing as much with other people as I would like to do, but there's still a lot of shit to take pictures of out there. Uh, it's coming up on spring, which means the botanical gardens are, are going to be open and I'm gonna be spending a lot of time there. Also, I guess in other news, I've been talking about how my day job is supposed to be coming upon a change. It changed. Last night, 5.30, we had a call. It's only finally happening just now, and over the course of the next month or two, things are definitely gonna be changing. My, my physical geographic territory is changing, my clients are changing, so my day-to-day -day is changing. If, if nothing else, if I'm getting back on the road, and I'm only doing that after I get vaccinated and this shit calms down, but once I get back on the road, that means I'm gonna be going other places than other than my office, three ships, the boardwalk, the area by the rec center, and, and maybe a couple other places that you've seen over and over and over again for the past year. I'm gonna try to branch out and get to other places and hopefully get together with other people and create some awesome art. And I'm gonna be sharing that with you. The biggest thing, it's gonna be my little clip here that I'm gonna have for my Insta360 so that I can take it along and I can do some point of view stuff while I'm out there learning how to use this camera. This, hands down, I mean, it's one of the most advanced cameras in existence in, in my little world, but it is absolutely the most advanced camera that I will ever have my hands on in, in my 20 year period of doing photography and creating that it's overwhelming. I have been watching tons of videos on it to try to get as much knowledge as I can and as many tips as I can and even though it is in the Sony ecosystem and I have all these Sony cameras and or have had Sony cameras there's still a ton of stuff that this thing can do that I've never been exposed to so I am absolutely excited to have something to do that's exciting to help me learn something more and to help me create better art so I can't wait to bring you along for all that. As you can tell, I'm excited. I'm really stoked that, that that stuff's coming in a couple of days. Wait until you see me when I'm sitting here with boxes all over the place and I'm, and I'm unboxing everything. I mean, I'm actually excited to do an unboxing video and I freaking hate unboxing videos. So 
that's coming in the next couple of days, next few days, depending on on you know how everything actually gets delivered and all that kind of stuff. So, I, by all means, man, come back and check it all out. That's all I got for you today. I just sort of want to touch on a couple of things that that are happening because I'm excited, and that's that. So, if you have any comments or suggestions, you, you know, you just want to say something, you know how to do it. Get down in the comments down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Like, subscribe and all that shit. And remember kids, forward and up.